Where at Nat Fife, Nat, we just announced our leadership group and it'll be your fourth year as captain. It will be. I think it's, um, it's a great decision by the playing group to be able to stick with the exact same leadership group. It shows that what the guys were dishing up last year in terms of setting the standards for the club and leading them in the right direction um, was the right one and we get some continuity now keeping those same six guys. What benefits do we get out of that con- continuity of having the same guys? I think the six guys that we've got in there with Joel, Michael Walters, Reese Conker, David Mundy, um, Alex Pierce, and myself, there's good touch points across the whole group. Um, there's reasonable representation across both forward, mid, and back lines. And as a result, um, we are spread out across the entire group. I think round one and two, we're probably going to be out without a couple of our leaders and so that means that there's enough diversity in our leadership group to be able to cover all lines. How? What was the process to, to nominating the leaders? Was it similar to previous years? It was somewhat similar. We um, identified our, um, our values and our culture that we really want um, our leaders to be living by and setting the standard with and holding accountability to that and from that process each player was able to vote on a 54321 basis and choose who they wanted um, to be in their leadership group. Uh, everyone got a say, it was very transparent. It's a really good system which empowers the playing group to be able to choose who they want driving the bus. Have you reflected on your past three years as captain? How's that going to influence your fourth year? Yeah, constantly uh, reflecting on my leadership journey as captain. It's something that's taken a few years to get a handle of and really identify what sort of a captain I want to be. And I think now more than ever, I've got a good understanding of where my shadow areas lie and the fact I can use Reese Conker and Alex Pierce. Uh, Dave Mundy, these guys to fill out some of the areas that I'm not so good at, but also um, work on my strengths. I feel like I've got a good handle on what it means to be captain. Um, I know where I want to take this group and what we can possibly achieve in the coming years. Uh, and I'm enjoying the challenge that comes with captaining a young group. Joel and Reese were new to the group last year. What did they bring? Yeah, Joel and Reese are extremely likable guys. Everyone feels really comfortable and supported in their space. And um, clearly, uh, the group saw what they did last year as valuable contribution because they've been voted back in again as leaders and they'll be critically important both on game day and during the week in setting standards, uh, ensuring people feel like it's an environment they can get the most out of themselves. And finally, there were no n- new additions to the group, but we've got that young core. Can you see a lot of those guys eventually making that step up? Absolutely. Um, I think names like Andy Brayshaw, Rory Lobb, um, Aish and Akers who have come across from other clubs, they add some real depth to our potential leaders and leadership group is not a cigar club. We're not going to sit at the top and um, reign supreme in any way. Um, the six leaders will lead into, lean into some of the more leadership obligation work through the week and setting up meetings and, um, and things like that. But we want the leadership responsibility to be, to be spread out across the whole group.